hesitate to use this expression, but I'm going to, and that is he was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. Another bombshell tonight for the Donald Trump campaign. This woman says he fondled her in first class, and now she is breaking her silence. Hello and welcome. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Jessica Leeds and Rachel Crook told the New York Times that Donald Trump touched them inappropriately in separate incidents. Crook says the presidential nominee kissed her when she was a receptionist at a company in Trump Tower in 2005. And 74 year old Leeds spoke to the New York Times on camera. She says her encounter with Trump happened more than 30 years ago. Leeds said Trump touched her inappropriately while sitting next to her in first class on a flight. Somehow or another, the armrest in, in the seat disappeared. And it was a real shock when all of a sudden his hands were all over me. He started encroaching on my space. And I hesitate to use this expression, but I'm going to. And that is, he was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. That if he had stuck with the upper part of the body, I, I might not have gotten I might not have gotten that upset. But it's when he started putting his hand up my skirt. And that was it. That was it. I, I was out of there. Trump told a New York Times reporter that, quote, none of this ever took place. And just a short time ago, Trump's campaign released a letter from his lawyers demanding a full retraction and an apology from the New York Times. We found out a San Francisco-based reporter for the Associated Press is the one who unearthed the story of Donald Trump's alleged behavior. She interviewed dozens of people who worked for Trump on the set of his reality show, The Apprentice, and Night Beats' Kristen Ayers spoke with her. We knew heading into publication that we had a really strong story with more than 20 people talking about, you know, sexist, demeaning language that Trump had used on the set of The Apprentice. The article Garantz Burke wrote for the Associated Press would come to define the presidential race in the final weeks of the election. Your team won. A tale of sexual harassment on the set of his hit NBC reality show. Burke interviewed cast and crew who told her Trump's behavior toward women made them uncomfortable. Talking about women contestants who he might want to sleep with even when he was married to his wife Melania, uh, ranking contestants by the size of their breasts, and also his uh, apparent interest in one of the uh, camera women on set. Um, apparently he would talk about her body, discuss how beautiful she was and compare her beauty to that of his daughter Ivanka. Details so explosive that Access Hollywood producers read Burke's story and went hunting for archive video. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. <laughs> it's been very gratifying to see, you know, that this not only sparked colleagues at Access Hollywood to take action and go back into their own footage, but, um, you know, has generated so much interest in the topic. The Trump tapes would send his campaign into a tailspin and media outlets into a frenzy, looking for more evidence of impropriety. Tonight, new allegations are surfacing. Burke believes this could just be the beginning. With Mr. Trump, it turns out there's also a lot of tape.